Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to add product filtering on your Shopify store. So the first thing I'd like you to do is, of course, to launch your Shopify, okay, just like I have done right here. Okay, so this is my Shopify account. And because this is a beginner's tutorial, I don't want to assume that you know how to create an account on Shopify. So in order for you to create an account, I'd like you to know good news. You can definitely access Shopify from any browser of your choice. And right here, I'm currently using Chrome. So from your browser, check the top corner, you're gonna find the search bar. In the search bar, just type shopify.com and it's gonna take you to the official website for Shopify. Then follow through the on-screen instructions and processes to create an account. The steps are actually self-explanatory, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. And once you've created an account, it's going to take you to this fantastic homepage we can now explore a lot of features to have a great time in your store. So it is very important for you to create your store and the steps to creating your store is pretty much easy. Once you launch your account, they're going to take you through some step-by-step -step processes that you need to follow to create your account. And of course, after you've created your account, then you can now enter into the navigation process. So today, let us learn how we can add product filtering more product filters to actually spice up our store as you can see from the top right corner my store is titled affi books so right here on spot on shopify all i just want to do is to sell books which are of course digital products so how do i add uh, product filtering like all product filters to my store here's exactly what i can do with that now head over to the left corner of your screen. You're going to find home, others, products, customized content, analytics, marketing, discounts. And you're going to head over to the sales channel where you're going to find the online store, the point of sale, and of course your applications. That's if you have any. So head over to online store and click on online stores. And you're going to find an extended menu here that says themes, blog posts, pages, navigation, preferences. As you can see, this is my theme and it's loading up soon enough. You can see how colorful my store is through the theme. So here's blog post pages and navigation. Now head over to navigation and click on that. Now here it says my password, it, my online store is password protected and, and I didn't do that intentionally, you know, because for me to unlock my store, it means I have to upgrade to one of the paid plans. So this is really not intentional. And if you want to remove your password, then you need to upgrade to one of the paid plans, which of course I don't want to do right now. So from here on this page, scroll the way down, you're going to find this option that says collection and search filters, as you can see right here. So it says, allow your customers to filter collections and search results by product availability, price, color, and more. And then just right here, you're going to see filters, so filter settings are now available in Shopify search and discovery app. Make sure you use the settings in the application. So if you have not installed the app, that if you're new to this settings, you're definitely going to find install here. You're not going to find open. So once you find the install button, click on it and it's going to take you right into the Shopify app store. So from there, you're going to see from there, just click on install and it's going to take you right back into Shopify. And then at the top corner, you're going to see the install button. Click on the install button. Once it has been installed successfully, it's now going to get the part of this Wazy applications here. So now it's much easier for us to get into the store because we have here that says open. So I'm going to click on open so that I can see how much filters I can add to my store. So from this, left corner you're gonna see search and so this is the application right and then just below it you're gonna see filters you're gonna see search recommendations and settings so go ahead and click on filters so now as you can see we have this filters available that's availability as a filter we have price as a filter we have brand under vendor as a filter and the type is standard so if you want to add more filters to this all i just need to do is to click on the top right corner where you see add filter so click on add filter and now let us add this filter so what is the filter source here are the sources available product type tags and then okay so here are the um pro the the sources that's availability price product 
type tags vendor so i have already added availability price and vendor as my filters so here are the two available so let's go to tags and then the label i'm just gonna have to please ignore the french right there the first setting for my um for my shop is the default language is french i'm gonna change that soon so but here my label my label is going to be um size so scroll the way down the sauce has no values try changing the sauce okay that's fine if it has no values then that's awesome i'm just gonna walk with you like that then scroll the way to the bottom right corner and click on save so that that tag is going to be saved okay so top left corner just click on filters again i just want to check if it has reflected in my store so click on filters and you can see that this has already been added size and it's under tags all right so if I want to see if this has been added successfully, I'm just going to click on view at this top right corner. So view is going to take me into my store and then I'll be able to see it. So this is it filter and then this is availability and this is price. This is brand. Click all the way that as you can see and then head over to my apps again and then click on search and discovery still with my eyes right on this so i'm going to click on filters and here you go so i'm just going to have to click on the size again you know the size it says okay so what source and i added tags so it's on the size and then i created and they said there is no value for this so if i had said let me just change the source it's no value so that's pretty much no way i can definitely it did this all right so saying like that's there that's there so this is availability this is price this is size all right and because this is already saying that there is no value so i don't see it right here applying to my store because right here i can find availability and i can find price and i can find the brand that i just added and then i just but I cannot find the last one which I added, which, which is size. So let's give it some time for it to load up or let's just assume that the whole value thing is not just what it, what it wants now at the moment. So I'm just going back to books and so yeah, you go. So I'd say if we could just go ahead and, um, add another filter with the same size and then choose a different sauce that is available let's say the last choice which is product type all right and then it still says no value all right hoping that it's reflected so i scroll down and i click on save and i say this filter is saved so i'm just going to have to scroll up I'm going to go back to see if it has been saved product type and I'm going to click on view so you can get me to my store to see if that has been saved. Hmm. It wasn't saved as well. But that's pretty much the process. All right. Or oh, let's say it can only accompany just three kinds of filters because my store is limited. But that's how you can add as many filters as possible. So, and ensure that once you've exhausted your sources, then you cannot add any more. So, this is pretty much the process. You can go over the tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this video helped you search.